Hello and welcome to the Katie Gordon Show today's Best Country Mix. And joining me right here today is Joey Hurd. Joey, how are you today? Oh, I'm great. How are you? Doing good. I can kind of see here when we're uh, doing the interview here that you were in a sunny, nice place. Oh, yeah, absolutely. We're down in Rockport, Texas. Mm -hmm. What's the, the weather down there right now? Oh, it's about 70 degrees. Uh, Perfect 70. weather. Perfect. Mm -hmm. 79 tomorrow. So wow. we'll beach tomorrow for sure. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So kind of tell us a little bit about yourself to get started. Well, I started uh, singing uh, professionally when I was 12 years old um, in an entertainment mecca called Branson, Missouri, a theme park called Silver Dollar City. Um, and then I, I did shows all throughout my teens there. Uh, became oh, so, so many different shows throughout the town. Mm -hmm. and, um, then uh, 2011, we moved away to Nashville, Tennessee started learning the ropes in Music City and making connections and, and friends that I still have today. Then we moved out to the Great Smoky Mountains. and Ah, uh, there you go. Out there, yeah, we loved it. We loved mm -hmm. the Smoky Mountains. Uh, then we realized that we were um, even farther from any of our families mm -hmm. and hardly any of them were able to come out to see us uh, as often as possible. So we decided to move back uh, to where my wife and I initially met, which was Branson, Missouri. And that's where we are, got our first home and, and still work in the music business from there. So that's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. How was it down there in uh, the Smoky Mountains? I've heard great reviews about it. Well, we, we loved it. We, we became friends with the, uh, mm -hmm. some of Dolly, Dolly Parton's family and, mm -hmm. and and we uh, loved seeing the bears at Cave, Caves Cove. Uh, Caves Cove is what it's called. And um, actually been uh, around all the Smoky Mountains from Johnson City to mm -hmm. Gatlinburg on the other side and mm -hmm. into North Carolina. And did our first camping out there in Cherokee, North Carolina at Yellowstone National Park. Mm -hmm. Pretty awesome. That is really awesome. Yeah, yeah. So we, we, we thoroughly loved it out there. Uh, mm -hmm. we, we made the sacrifice and said, yeah, let's, let's get back closer to family. So we went back to the, to the Ozark Mountains. So Very cool. Mm -hmm. so. so Joey, do you have any new projects, singles, anything going on that you want to let us know about? We have, uh, well, we have the latest single, The Mirror Never Lies, uh, which we're pretty proud of. We still think that song um, is worth being the number one hit. Uh, but we have several songs in the mix where we're fixing to start recording here later this summer and, uh, in the studio, uh, some that me and my producer have written together, and then some from Grammy award-winning songwriters back in Nashville. Uh, we probably picked out, I think, two songs from them. They sent us five. Uh, and we're we're pretty excited about those songs as well. So, so we we certainly have a, a list of tunes, and, and we'll just pop them out as singles. You know, you know, one month a brand new single, a couple months later another brand new single. And I think that's how a lot of people do it these days. There's there's, there's less of uh, creating an entire 13 track album like uh, versus you know, just kind of popping out singles left and right. Right. Mm -hmm. All right, keep looking at these birds that are flying by. I know, I hear them like, as I'm hearing through my headphones here, and I go, oh my God, <laughs> I hear those birds every two seconds. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, they're, uh, there's a fly kind and uh, flying and, and birds all around. So. <laughs> mm -hmm. People yeah. are staying mm -hmm. pretty nice, too. But... Uh, but yeah, so we, you know, we got our, our biggest goal this year, of course, I think with everybody is mm -hmm. doing shows, you know, yes. doing openers and, and, and doing, you know, as, as just as many dates as, as we can, because for the past couple of years, you, you haven't heard about this humongous tour going on or that, you know, uh, yeah. 
top 40 country artists. Uh, so this this is supposed to be a good year. It's supposed to be a great year uh, for concerts. And, and uh, we're certainly starting to um, fill up the calendar with dates. And, and we're well pleased with that. A lot of them are... Um, uh, well, a lot of them are honky tonks. A lot of them are festivals and, mm -hmm. and a little bit big festivals. Um, the casinos are backed up mm -hmm. <laughs> for, for uh, you know uh, fulfilling contracts from two years ago even. So yeah, uh, I know Hard Rock Cafe in Oklahoma uh, wanted to have us in the fall, and it was an unfortunate time at that time for me personally because I was in the middle of two different funerals. Um, yeah. I kind of figured if they wanted us then, they'll want us this year sometime. So we're, we're kind of looking forward to going to Hard Rock Cafe in Tulsa, Oklahoma. So that is fun. cool. That's and awesome. I, my first uh, casino gig. I've never been that foot inside of a casino, uh, but yeah. uh, many of my band members have. And uh, so it's not the first rodeo, but for me, I think that'd be awesome experience for sure. So, uh, next weekend uh, is a is a distillery, um, a, a smaller, low key gig. But uh, I hear they have the best pizza around the Ozarks, and we'll be playing at this uh, place called Bub's Distillery. Uh, in oh, what's the name of that town? <laughs> I forget the name of the town, but <laughs> everybody else knows where we're going. But Rogersville, Rogersville, Missouri. Rogersville. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're looking forward to that. It's going to be fun. And I'm, I'm doing some songs on the on the vacations because <laughs> we, we, you know, when we go do our our shows, we we do cover tunes as well as original. Songs. Um, I mean, that's yes. So yeah, uh, but you know, it depends on the gig. Also, you know, if we're an opening act, then we're just doing until we heard music we're just doing original music you know but if we're trying to entertain in a venue or an area that we've never been well we're definitely going to rip whip out some songs that they're already familiar with as well so. right because they don't really know who you are so you got to kind of warm up to them first yeah yeah so we we invite everyone to share joeyherd.com and, and Joey Heard on instagram and facebook and twitter and uh we're actually uh, revamping the website and making changes to that. Um, my uh, band coordinator is, is doing a lot of that. Uh, he's uh, doing a very nice job. So we try to keep uh, a lot of what we do um, uh, in, in the group or, you know, people working with me in my corner and instead of trying to out, outside. Because um, mm -hmm. we're, we're basically working on, on no budget you know so um it uh like for any independent mm -hmm. working on no budget it becomes a little tricky sometimes so but uh but yeah well you know we'll keep the good music coming for sure um you know I've, I've learned uh many years ago if you find that producer that you really gel with mm -hmm. and you stick with that person and that guy has not only become my full-time producer, he's, you know, he's like a brother to me. So um, we, uh, we, the two of us created the latest single together. And I said, man, we got, we got to keep this going. So uh, that's exactly what we're going to do. So, but, Awesome. Yes, so Joey, what does a typical day look like for you? Like, are you always touring? Like, what do you do on a typical day? So, so four days a week. Um, I deliver for the largest brand in the world. I deliver the vending machines for Coca-Cola. Oh, okay. That's sweet. Mm -hmm. And in and around that, we have band practice. I have cameo appearances, mm -hmm. radio shows, uh, appearances on, on on local media networks. You know, you know, I try to. I try to keep more of the traveling towards the weekend. Mm -hmm. you know, it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and um, that just kind of works out. So this this uh, particular bottler for Coca Cola, you know, is is very supportive. 
of my music endeavors. And so they just make me work four days a week. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. and, but, uh, but yeah, so that's what I do. You know, um, here's a funny tidbit. Okay. Uh, Jason Aldean had the same entertainment attorney when I first really? moved. Yeah, this uh, older gentleman sent us a message on MySpace. Remember MySpace? Mm-hmm. <laughs> sent me a message, said, hey, I'm coming out to your first gig at Douglas Corner. I said, oh, okay, guy. I didn't know who he was. I get up to do the gig, and and the guy is hollering for me and, you know, uh, trying to fight his way. There is a crowded place. Mm-hmm. And then I learned who he was. He was the most prestigious law firm in Nashville. And, uh, and I learned that later that Jason was, you know, one of his biggest clients since uh, 2004. And up until Orville passed away in 2017, two weeks after the Las Vegas shooting. Mm-hmm. When I got the Coke job in Nashville, Orville said, well, Joey, that's good. If we get Landy a deal, then I'll have a Pepsi man and a Coke man on country radio. And uh, he told me how Jason was the Pepsi man. I, I kind of hold on to that. You know, every day I go out and start filling up vending machines for Coca-Cola. <laughs> I said, well, it was the Pepsi man. So, yeah. Uh, so, I, yeah, I miss that guy. You know, he kind of kept me out of trouble, kept the wolves away. And, uh, now I've got some other people in my corner that help keep the wolves away, too. <laughs> totally. It's at least a few times a month. <laughs> we'll do this. We'll do that. But yeah. that's that's the nature of the beast. <laughs> it sure is, my friend. It sure is. Yeah. Well, is, is there anything that I forgot that you'd like to share with us before we go to the joy? Oh, not that I could think of. Uh like I say, I'm on vacation, so we're just kinda yeah, uh, in relaxed mode. <laughs> there you go. Mm-hmm. I appreciate you having me on the show. Oh, it is my pleasure. And we really want to thank you for taking time out of your vacation to come on the show today. We really appreciate it. Hey, you bet. And you guys uh, keep supporting country music.